Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we have another Is This Pistol Still Relevant video. This series has been a lot of fun and I'm super excited to share with you what I have to show today. Asking the question, is this pistol still relevant? The last time we did this, I featured the Kimber Evo SP, Striker Pistol. Now this was the pistol that replaced, from Kimber, the Solo, and that was known to be unreliable. And Kimber said, we have it right with the Evo SP. This is the one that is replacing the Solo, and you should check it out because it's way better, and it can feed, fire, and eject all types of ammo. The problem was that it was very expensive, and that, that's always an issue when shooters think that they're overpaying for a handgun. They tend to drift away from it. They say, I don't want anything to do with it. There are other choices out there, and essentially, that's the feedback that I received. They said, nice looking gun, single stack, seven round mag, 3.1 inch barrel. I get it. You know, aluminum frame, it seems to have what many shooters think is nice for the features, but for 650 bucks, way too many choices out there to worry about that handgun. Like, it's not even significant at that price. And we know Kimbers are very expensive, and they've always been very expensive. They make beautiful guns, but they cost way too much. Today, we're going in the opposite direction with a cheap little handgun that has a very rich history. Began in 1970, and it is Raven Arms. I'm pretty sure most of you have checked one of these out. Perhaps you still own one. You've at least shot your buddies. This is chambered in 25. It's called the Raven Arms MP25, but not this one. See, Raven Arms was developed in 1970, and it was a very cheap semi-auto six round magazine chambered in 25 ACP. It was a pocket carry gun with a two and a half inch barrel and it was somewhat reliable. People will argue that point. Is that even reliable? If it's not reliable, it's not significant in my eyes. But if people would pocket carry these left and right. You could pick it up at the local hardware store for 40 bucks. And many people had several of them. Now, you know this as the Raven Arms MP25 with the blue slide wood grips. And that was the pretty much the signature series for many years. And then what happened was in 1990, there was a fire at the Raven factory. And they sold off the, the design and the patent to Phoenix Arms. And that's what this is. And they came out with the stainless slide and frame and these fake plastic ivory grips kept the six round 25 acp magazine and it's called phoenix arms and it's this one's produced out of california it has a little thumb safety right there you have to click it up there and then sweep it down very much a pocket gun it has fixed sights it worked okay. It was inconsistent throughout the years. People would say, you know, I, I love it. I remember a while back I said, that gun is not very significant. I don't even consider it part of my collection. And people said, what are you talking about? You're nuts. It has a very rich history. And it's a centerfire gun compared to the Rimfire 22s. And it's an arguable point. What is more effective? And I would argue the 22 is, but you're dealing with Rimfires versus centerfires. Anyways, the Phoenix Arms, or the Raven MP25, it would be considered a, a po little pocket gun, maybe a under the table in a poker game kind of gun. It is not expensive. Many replaceable parts out there, and shooters would say there are replaceable parts left and right because that's what you needed to do. It is very breakable, made out of a zinc alloy, not the toughest thing in the world, but very small, would arguably get the job done depending on what you were doing but back then many people they they just dropped the, the gun in the pocket well they still do that but the 25 with fewer people armed back then at least carrying we think would would be effective so is the raven arms mp25 or this right here the phoenix arms 
Raven? Is it significant in today's world or has it lost its value? This would be considered the high point of its time. It's very inexpensive. People would own several of them. It's known to be just thrown away and pick up another one because it is cheap. Ammo today is very expensive, 25 ACP. You never hear any manufacturer creating much in 25 ACP. In fact, you're hearing manufacturers discontinue handguns in 25 ACP. But the Raven Arms, have you shot it? Have you checked it out? Do you own one? And if you do, is this pistol still relevant? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.